Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. Certified. Verified. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm talking about the top 10 scary mysterious toys people randomly found. What a title. I personally do not feel good about a spooky toy because I mean it makes sense doesn't it it's a spooky toy. I suppose that's because they're so subverted in horror movies that they've kind of become classic horror tropes. What should be an innocent and fun thing like ooh yay toy is actually suspicious and maybe even evil. Before I get into this list I want you to tell me what your favourite toy was when you were little. One Christmas my mum bought me a bike but all I wanted to play with was a tiny plastic witch that I'd got in my stocking. I told you guys the story about me and all the barbie heads in the scary childhood memory stories video so I guess you all know by now that I'm a bit of a creep. Let me know your stories in the comment section down below, also please do hit that thumbs up button and share this video with a friend. Check out the links to our most amazing instagrams in the description box down below and stick around to the bitter end where I'll be replying to comments from a previous video. Ok, let's do this! Coming in at number 10, we have Head in the Ceiling. Oh holy moly, I do not want this. Absolute do not want. This dirty baby head with blue eyes piercing through the muck was found in the ceiling of a property in New York, now home to the Tenement Museum. 97 Orchard Street in southern Manhattan used to be a family home, so it stands to reason that there may be relics of former residents hidden away. That to me is cool and everything. I love history. I'd be really keen to learn a bit more about who used to live there, but I really do draw the line at rotting toy heads, which I think is a pretty understandable boundary. Speaking of rotting toy heads, what I pray is this hellish apparition at number 9, we have a mouse out of the house. Good people of reddit, what say you? Dgem posted this image of a badly treated toy mouse with one eye. One pink eye that seems to bore down right into your very soul. They wrote scary toy I found looking in my window and if that's true I'm both appalled and horrified. What was it doing looking in your window? The comments were also pretty great. One person wrote I'm the one who knocks, a reference to breaking bad and ah I do not want that to come knocking. Ronan's eyes only wrote if that toy was a personal toy to you or your kid Kids, I would say Voodoo. Ah, Voodoo Mouse. Actually, it does sound like a great band name though. Voodoo Mouse. I saw a mouse. Where? There on the stair. Where on the stair? Right there. A little mouse with evil intent. He's hell bent on pain. It's the song I wrote for you right there about that mouse. Thank you, you're welcome. Coming in at number 8, we have The Old Classroom. Bros of Decay is a YouTube channel with just over 100,000 subscribers and it is fronted by Flemish brothers Leslie and Geordie who love urban adventuring. And I can't blame them, I love all kinds of adventuring, especially urban. In December 2017, they explored an old abandoned elementary school and found old books and old toys, which is pretty spooky to watch. In the video description, they wrote, all the toys of the kids were still inside the building along with the pictures of the students and everything. Thing. We could relive the children's memories whilst exploring this school. Okay, here are a few of my favourite clips. We, it says here, we learn Dutch. It's a language book, a Dutch language book. So an old book bag and a few books, to me that's pretty interesting. The fear for me comes when they come across a whole load of toys, which is cool. Also Duplo, yay! Yeah, this is sort of Lego, but... For kids, small, it's a little bit bigger, so they can't. It's, 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 it's called Duplo. But then they find this. There's a doll over here, and above it is a beautiful drawing of a kid. No to dirty face doll. We've already talked about this. To be honest, though, these guys do seem so nice and friendly that it's hard to be that scared. You should check them out, though. I like their videos. I'm not necessarily sure if we would call these toys. Are they dolls? Are they voodoo dolls? Whatever they are, they are a terrifying mystery still to this day at number seven. In June 1836, a group of teenage boys went out hunting for rabbits on Arthur's Seat in Edinburgh, one of my favourite cities in the world. What they found was a scary mystery, and it still is a scary mystery. History today. Time has not revealed all. They found 17 wooden coffins arranged in rows. When they opened them up, they found matching 17 dressed wooden dolls with open eyes staring back at them. Freaky. From investigation, it seems that the coffins had been placed at different intervals in time over the past few years, so it wasn't just a mass tiny doll coffin 
parade. The media at the time were all over it and they started calling them fairy coffins and there were rumours as to what their purpose was. Some people said that they were memorials for murder victims but the most popular theory of all as I'm sure you can imagine was witchcraft. The Scotsman newspaper which is still around today wrote an article on the discovery saying, our own opinion would be, had we not some years ago abjured witchcraft and demonology, that there are still some of the weird sisters hovering about Mushat's can or the windy gal who retain their ancient power to work the spells of death by entombing the likeness of those they wish to destroy. Ugh. I mean, I'm all for a bit of vengeance, but entombing the likeness of people you wish to destroy, you've gone too far. Another mystery up next, this one is a teddy bear mystery at number 6. We have the 134 year old tomb. In Hope Valley Cemetery in Adelaide, Australia, there is a headstone marking the final resting place of Herbert Henry Dicker, who died just just age 2 in June 1885. Now, Despite passing away over 130 years ago, regular teddy bears and toy trucks are left on his grave. They've been found there afresh once a month for the past 8 years. Scarily, historians claim that Herbert has no living relatives in the area. David Brooks of the Tree Fully Library said, How the toys are getting on there I have no idea, we're all wondering what it is. Perhaps Herbert's breaking the bonds of the grave and going out and stealing toys. Toys. While I think that Brooks was joking, you do have to wonder who actually is leaving these toys. Is it a ghost thing? If it is a real person doing it, how are they doing so without being noticed and what is their motive? It's also just occurred to me that two of the last stories took place in June, and it's June right now so maybe June is an unprecedented spooky month. I'd say the usual month of spooks are like October through December, but June, what a dark horse. Coming into number 5, we have The Old One. To me that sounds like the title of a ha ha oh no video and I love it. Good old Siberia is always throwing up the goods isn't it? Siberia, you know I love talking about the permafrost but I'm not doing that today. So in December 2017, an angler made a discovery. They pulled up a 4,500 year old load of children's toys from a river and I have to say they were pretty terrifying, but also cool, but again also terrifying. This is the figure of a pagan god that historians think was used as a rattle for children to ward off evil spirits. That's great and everything, but honestly to me it looks very terrifying in itself. You can also see images of the back of it and it looks like it has long hair and fish scales. Fisherman Nikolai Tarasov was hailed for making the catch of a lifetime as the figure was one of the oldest children's toys ever found to date, but still it's very very scary. Ah, I can't feel my face when I'm with you, probably because I don't have a face, which is why. Join me at number 4 amid my dismay. It's gonna haunt me for the rest of my days. Redditor Liebel found this absolute horror show in their attic and posted the image to the social media site Reddit to express their distress. I mean, honestly what happened here, I dread to think. I don't think I ever wanted to know what was going on behind a baby doll's face. A plastic doll skeleton? It's worse than I thought. Was this doll destroyed by a dog and then stuffed in the attic to be found years later or did something living in the attic gnaw on it up there? The doll's hands, feet and knees have been obliterated. Yet yeah, it's oversized t-shirt is fine. I'm honestly not sure I understand, but like, I don't think I want to because this is too creepy. I'd rather just forget it. Are you ready for another horrifying attic find at number three? We have this sassy eyed smiler. I'm just gonna come in strong with this one. You're legitimately going to have to accept it. Here it is. Redditor Idle Wild Girl found this in her attic, and I am absolutely not okay with it. This is a bad monkey. I actually like this monkey even less than Miss Coulter's golden monkey in Philip Pullman's Dark Materials, and that's a bad monkey. Why is it giving a shifty eye? I don't know. Like, what is that side eye about? Do you think that that fur is also made from real monkey fur? If so, again, do not want. A smile that doesn't reach the eyes. To me, I can't think of anything worse. I have to say, though, it gets arguable worse at number 2, we have another monkey and this one has a miniature symbol. LCD sound system fans watching anyone? 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 If you are, then get ready for the floor because this monkey is not legit. Look at it. It wants you to D.I.E. Redditor Mostly Grapes posted this image with the caption, So I found this monkey in the attic. And honestly, I think the ellipsis at the end of that sentence speaks volumes. Volumes! So visually, the 
There really is a lot to unpack here, I would say namely its feet attached by metal spikes and its painted red nails, it's a glamorous monkey. Also the fact that it looks like it was wearing a fur sweater, whatever's happening on the top of its head, its sunken bloodshot eyes and its freaking horrifying exposed teeth. What is happening? I don't like it, the monkey is grimacing hard and honestly Blah, I get it. The redditor who posted it wrote, At first I moved it into the living room right next to the bedroom, but when you're alone in an old farm in the middle of nowhere, that does not really work out, so I put it in a box and stored it in the barn instead. Babe, I would say sink it, sink it in a lake. One commenter responded, If it starts clapping, someone's gonna die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like it, I wish I could undo seeing it, but I can't. Finally, this story is sketchy, but it is one of the most horrifying toys I've ever seen in my life, so I imagine finding it would have definitely been heart attack inducing. Coming into number one, we have Key Baby. Okay, close your eyes. Are they closed? Okay, good. No, you, yours are open. Close them. Close your eyes. Now, while your eyes are closed, imagine the most terrible sight you possibly can. You got it? Okay. Now open your eyes. Did anyone see this by any chance? To me, this straight up looks like some kind of musical baby human centipede experiment. Who wants to play the baby keyboard? Not I, good fellow, not I. Finding this would legitimately ruin my life. Okay, please take it away, thank you. Oh. Okay guys, where do we go from here? I honestly don't know, that wasn't okay was it and I'm sorry I had to do that to you. Do let me know which of these toys you think was the most horrifying and also don't forget to let me know what your favourite childhood toy was. I do hope I didn't taint toys forever for you, sorry. Do like this video if you like our content, do share it with a friend, thank you for watching. Before I go I'm just going to read some comments from the top 10 scary California urban legends part 3. Three, you guys loved it. Ruby AI Dragon Cookie Forever wrote, Hi Rebecca, I only went to Grand Canyon with my friends more like a road trip and I always found you cute. Lol, I'm from California, too much going on. There's a lot going on in that sentence but I'm glad you went to the Grand Canyon. I went too and it was really, really fun. Did you do a hike? Let me know. Billy Fronabaga said, Can you please do an urban legend video about my backyard? I'm certain there's something out there. Sure Billy, send us some information and we'll do it. Eliza Vetter, head of Ari said, I am living for that yellow shirt. Thank you, I would say zest is the best but today I'm wearing blue and black and I'm on track. I don't know, rhymes. Rhymes! Danielle said, I love your channel, you're my favourite hostess with the most s, you are the Slytherin Queen Rebecca. You guys should do a video on Alaskan urban legends. Well, Danielle. Thank you for the compliment and also for addressing me by my correct full name. Secondly, you'll be pleased to know that we actually did do an Alaska Urban Legends video and I think Danny hosted it so go watch that vintage, we did it earlier this year. Enjoy! That's all from me, I still can't stop thinking about the baby keys, I need like a mind purge. You know the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, I wonder if they do that for like 9 to 5 jobs. Ah, Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys soon, bye!